So hello, in this video I'm going to, to try to make some uh, rosalic acid, also known as aurin. And for this we will need 7 grams of sulfuric acid, concentrated, uh, and 9.59 grams of phenol. Uh, mine is a little bit contaminated, it should be clear, not pink. And also 4.28 grams of oxalic acid. So it's also dehydrated. And yeah, so we're just going to heat up this and this with the catalyst sulfuric acid uh, here. So I'm just going to put all of this into the uh, flask. You should be also careful because phenol is toxic and very corrosive. And the same goes for sulfuric acid. So I have decided to stop the reaction and as you can see there is quite a bit of tar at the bottom and this is pro presumably our dye mixed with some impurities. So because the uh, dye is very hard to remove from the flask so you can see it's a solid brick well most of it at least I'm just going to dissolve it in an ethanol I'm not sure how much it will take but I think this is the best option so after a bit of heating everything uh, dissolves and now I'm just going to pour it into the cooker So what I did after the adding the water, I just uh, filtered, well I didn't filter, I just decanted the water from the top because the aurin uh, just sat on the bottom as a tarry mass and I just collected it, uh, dissolved it in some more ethanol and dried it on a plate. Uh, so this, this is what I got, it's about 2 grams which represents about 20% yield which is uh, honestly not that good uh, but uh, yeah it's it's a nice dye and uh, yeah it's also a good pH indicator and I'm going to show you that in a minute so here is a basic solution of sodium hydroxide it's a little bit pink because there's a apparently some dye left from the previous uh, time I did it and there's some citric acid so maybe let's go first with the acidic solution and as you can see aurin quickly changes from pink to yellow or orange and here it remains pink so yeah that's it for this video I hope you liked it and yeah See you next time.